Today is May 15, 2010. Uh, the time is now about 7.47 in the evening. I just needed to get my story out. When I was a kid, Rikers Island, along with Manhattan's The Tunes, loomed large as a threat from adults of where they send you if you acted up. We all knew that both places were worse than hell. Debuting tonight on the ever-evolving Spike TV, the riveting six-part documentary series Time, the Khalif Browder story, reveals in horrifying, outrage-inducing, and ultimately fatal detail just how a young and innocent life can get burned up in that Bronx-based hell, and the ongoing destruction of an ever-cruel criminal justice system that almost everyone across the political spectrum agrees is broken. And yet no one dares to truly fix, as the real American carnage of broken lives piles up. In following the tragedy of inequality and institutionalized prejudice that was the 16-year-old picked up in 2010 for a backpack theft he never committed, and failing to make three grand in bail, thoughtlessly tossed into Rikers hellhounds, beatings, and more violence, plus more than 700 days in solitary confinement that resulted in a trio of suicide attempts, the occasionally overly contrived Jay-Z, Harvey Weinstein, and David Glasser EP'd and Jenner first directed time packs a hell of a punch in a manner that will leave your conscience ringing long after you're finished watching, and watch you should, even when with the prison security footage of what is essentially torture makes you want to look away. If I just say that I did it, nothing's going to be done about it. I didn't do it. No justice is served. Nobody hears nothing at all. I had to fight. A finally free, at least from being behind bars, emotionally and physically battered and scarred Khalif may have finally taken his own young life in June 2015 at the age of 21. But in comprehensive on-camera interviews here from him, plus a plethora of surveillance tapes and insight from his now-departed mother, he, and the injustice done to him, like so many others, comes to life. Though, like many projects in this platinum age of documentary, we could have done without the recreations, when the reality here is just so raw. To the nature of that open wound, there is a line uttered by Browder's mom of where's the justice that hauntingly echoes through the series, even more so now in a time when calls for methods of even stricter punishment and sentencing feel like the prevailing political storm. Like Netflix's Making a Murderer or HBO's drama of last summer, The Night Of, Time, which had a premiere at the Sundance Film Festival in January, is an intricate case study with many layers and players, including Jay-Z himself, the governor of New York, the mayor of New York City, and commentary from inmates and guards, plus the former Attorney General of the United States, Eric Holder, and others. But it keeps coming back to one undeniable fact, that even with the reforms that were enacted because of what happened to Khalif, the havoc and destruction that crashed down on the life of the falsely accused young man did not end when he stepped out of Rikers. A personal hell was just beginning. One that is inflicted upon many young men, especially those of color, once they too are flushed out of the criminal justice system. And a real life and real time American nightmare begins. And that is why you should give time your time. <laughs>